I think you all remember the moment in which I had the kids strapped into their car seats, but I didn't have the chest buckle up on the chest. And I had a lot of great moms that, that uh, let me know how I should do it correctly, and we even brought in a specialist to make sure I did it right. I think it's great because now I not only have Jamie helping me and looking out for me and my kids, but I have a lot of other moms. A few vlogs back, I took Landon to Yogurt Land and I had him in my front seat. The airbag was turned off, but a lot of moms pointed out, and correctly, that that is still not the safest place for a boy of Landon's stature. So I'm adjusting and now I have Landon in the back seat only. How you doing back there, bud? What do you love about Lily? She's always alert and stuff. She's been alert often. What do you love about Violet? Um, I think it's funny the noises she makes. She grunts a lot. Sometimes she growls at us. Yeah. <laughs> Lincoln, all that hard work, buddy. All that hard work. It's so hard to get you to eat. It smells gross. I think I would probably throw it up too. It smells like mashed potato flakes a little bit. It's bath time. Our number run. Our number one request at this point is having a video that shows a day of our life. I don't think we could actually film a whole day or even several times throughout the day because life's so crazy, but hopefully we can give you a little glimpse of what it's like to get up, feed. We do four hour shifts. Um, Lincoln, all the kids feed different. Lincoln is one of the slower ones. He guzzled today, which I was so excited about until this happened. But that's okay, huh? So Lincoln gets a bath, a bonus bath. How often do we feed the babies, Jamie? Every couple days? We don't, oh, not feed them. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired. How often do we bathe the babies? Every few days? Not every day. He gets a bonus bath. Bonus bath. I actually like it because it's like a spa bath. I'll show you how to do a spa bath that, that newborns love, at least our baby loves. Do you guys ever do swaddle baths? So I'm gonna swaddle this monkey in this thing and then put him in the water with the blanket, and then he's really happy. I actually think I would like this, personally. Lincoln here is now lightly swaddled in a swaddle blanket, um, and we're gonna clean him off. See, what we're trying to watch for is, let's see if we got any, I thought I saw some. Let's see, buddy, let me see over here. Yeah, that's milk cheese, and they, they uh, produce that in their neck, and then we just harvest it out at bath time. And I pour water on him like this. And then he loves it because he's wearing a water blanket. You loving that, Link? You loving that? Okay, let me get get in here. You're not your milk cheese. First with my finger. Oh, delicious. Delicious. Uh, if you could smell it, you wouldn't be happy. It's stinky cheese. It's kind of like... Kind of like blue cheese, huh, Link? Yeah. Okay, my little Lincoln boy's clean. We go through about 30 bottles a day, um, as well as 30 diapers a day, and that doesn't count the in-between feedings that sometimes the kids are needing because of growth spurts. We require so much help, so we have a lot of help from our family, close friends, and our neighbors, and our church family. And the help has been overwhelming and just incredible, really. So a lot of these women are coming in at the 12 a.m., the 4 a.m., and that's when these bottles are getting washed and filled. Um, and I think we've, you've seen probably on our vlogs our refrigerator that is full of bottles all the time. In between every feed, there's a happy hour. It's usually an hour and a half after they fed. Happy hour sounds like this. I know that's not terribly quiet, but they kind of do that all day. When we get another hour and a half 
later, they'll get even more fussy. And uh, Violet, it's happy hour. It's happy hour, baby. I forgot to tell her it was happy hour. A little, like an hour, hour and a half before feed, they get restless. We do hold the babies a lot, even in between feeds if they're fussing a lot. Usually there's only one or two fussing at a time so we can kind of rotate. But usually there is a magic hour and I'm hoping that it's this hour. Jamie's taking a nap right now. So dad's on shift. Let's see who's the fussiest, who's stirring the most. I guarantee you Daisy's like milk drunk out like a light bulb. Lily's content. Logan's grunting and wiggly. Violet's, she was grunting, but she's quiet now. There's Daisy. She's a little more chubs. And Lincoln sleeps with his eyes open. There it is. Let's have a good happy hour, kids. Someone's refusing to participate in happy hour. Huh, Miss Violet? These babies got the tooties sometimes. Huh, Missy? How often do those babies toot, Landon? I don't, I don't toot. Logan's. Logan's got the tooties. You got the tooties. You got the tooties. This is, this is kind of the cycle of our day. There's great moments, there's quiet moments. Every moment's blessed, we're really grateful. And there's a moment every day where we're like, oh man, I, I don't know if I can do this because we're so tired. People come to help, we get a little bit of sleep, the babies get fed and happy, and, and we have a complete reset. So anyway, I'll put this down. and. I'm actually getting really good at holding three babies at once. So I'm gonna set this down and pick up the two boys. Any last words, mom? Takes a village. It takes a village.